Hey guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I'm going to be playing Atomic Heart on the Steam Deck. This game came out yesterday, and it's going to show you guys the size of the game. It's also available for Game Pass. Keep that in mind. Um, but here, I got a code for the PC, and this is actually 75.91 gigabytes. 75.91 gigabytes in size. So it's a pretty big file. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, right now, the game is actually considered playable. But you see that? Playable. I actually got a couple updates since I installed it yesterday. Uh, but other than that, let's go ahead and start playing it. I am playing it without any Proton uh, whatsoever. And um, what else? This is by, uh, by the way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's weird. I guess it got a really good update while I was sleeping because that message right there, I didn't get it uh, before. I just got the normal configuration for, you know, like just a normal shooting configuration. Um, here, I'm actually using, I'm actually going for 40 frames per second. I'm locking it at 40 frames per second. And I'm also using FSR, FSR sharpness too. That's the only thing I'm actually adjusting here. I did run the game at 60 frames per second. It runs, but uh, this game, uh, graphic-wise, is very, very demanding. So, um, you have to actually run this game in low settings, and it, but, but it still looks good on the Steam Deck. still looks great. Okay. And, of course, it loaded up here. Huh. Looks a little bit different. I think it got a big update while I was sleeping. Um, here, let's go and show you guys settings. If we can actually see there a little bit. Uh, you got brightness, a window, VSync is on, um, FPS cap. I put it on 60 because we don't really need 90 or 120 or 144 or 165. 240 300 so it goes all the way to 300 that's insane but of course this system is not going to do over over 60 so i just keep it on 60 because no use going over and of course here i just keep it on low you can go medium high ultra and atomic so that is going to be huge it's going to it's got to look amazing on a badass computer so here we're gonna go low and everything else I'm just leaving it like that as it is. Everything else I'm just leaving it as it is. And um audio I got streamer mode on and that's it. One thing I wish we can do here is make the letters bigger, the subtitles. I wish we can actually make the subtitles bigger because I think they're too small. Let's go ahead continue. It looks like a little bit dark, doesn't it? Let me see the brightness here. Okay, brightness. That's in case. Okay. Wizard, this is P3. Come there in. You go. Check A. Are you all right, up my there. I'm going okay, to fix the camera here. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the Okay, so I already played traitor. the intro the of the game. Central hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. Right now the to scan. Victor Petrov. You press, you double press here and hold. Exactly. You can scan the area. You can scan enemies. And when you scan enemies, you can actually see what they're vulnerable, vulnerable to, or their weaknesses. Boom. <laughs> So like we're not, if I want to scan that, it tells me they're vulnerable to electric and things like that. Mm 
I can also evade like this. Jump over here, over here, evade with the B. And over here, heavy shots. I still have no weapons yet. This is the only weapon I have is the axe. Holy crap. Hey, glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Holy Patrick crap, what the hell was that? He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Somebody help me! Hey, you. I'm coming. You alive in there? Come on! Anybody! <laughs> oh crap. Shit! Uh, get away from me! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I'm not doing anything. This is just... Oh! Now, this game, I gotta say, when this game starts, you see the beginning, the world, how it is. It is very, very inspired to Bioshock and Wolfenstein. You should be more careful. This place is a damn mad house. Yeah, I noticed. Thanks for the help, No sweat, Sonny. But like you see, it looks great here on the what Steam Deck. What are you doing deck. here anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? But of Zeta. course, we have a shot. Yeah, so Granny I don't Zeta. know if the frame rate is going to be. Frida? Fine, I get it. She said Frida? So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really <laughs> use a weapon. You got anything? Of course, but I'm not giving you shit. Come on, Blady. This is a complex. <laughs> if you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Cool. Shit, it's a chiller. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass. 30 seconds until what? Ah. 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Really <laughs> fucked. <laughs> no, oh, hell no. Get over here, beefcake. No, 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 Where are we no. going? Take this key and turn it clockwise. Okay. It clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You hold him off? You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. Lady, you should have gave me a damn rifle. Something tells me she's gonna get very nastily killed right in front of us. Hello, can I just take a rifle? Oh crap, that thing. Oh, you have to keep pressing the key. That's why he can't release it. Oh, nice shot, lady. Oh no! Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy. We just fell inside of the elevator. We're going down. We can't do anything right now. Can't move. Okay. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. So I guess we gotta climb out of here. <laughs> okay, come on, bro. What a goddamn clusterfuck. There you go. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? 
How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum hmm. unit. So how do you end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. I don't see nothing here. What am I supposed to find here? Foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started. And that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Why is that box blue? Okay. Oh, look at that. I can open... Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm collecting like some materials there. Synthetic material, neural something material. Locate the door handle. Okay, so I guess there's gotta be like a door handle somewhere here. So that glove that he has is pretty cool. Um, it actually talks to him too. We actually have conversations with the, with his hand, and it's pretty cool because uh, it does. I guess it's going to be able to do a lot of crazy things in this game. There you go. So you gotta, because right before everything went crazy, we were supposed to go upgrade our glove. That's why we call it the the glove that he has the glove. Oh! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! So we're getting achievements there. You go scan. So you better scan because this might be things like you saw before we didn't scan and I didn't see the key. And the machines rose from. Okay, it says enemies do, 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 press B to dodge. Yashes. May I give you some advice? Ooh. I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robots more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Well, at this rate, I won't last long. That first part really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to mm. heal yourself. Okay. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, okay. Major. So everything that's blue here. May I remind you that your gear oh, yeah. includes a special Yarov Avalokov backpack for storing items and equipment. Okay. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird mm -hmm. science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. What's this? Okay, Grammy, Zona. I like that you open the like the drawers with your hands. You don't have to actually be touching like the stuff, things that you see to collect. That's pretty cool.
Oof. Okay. Nice. Oh, you saw that? You keep uh, taking pieces away from the. Damn it! Why is everything locked here? From the. From the robots that most likely you're gonna use later on to actually upgrade yourself. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell? Something's wrong. Oh shit! Holy crap! <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell was that? And I guess we fell through because uh, it turned off. Come on, get up, soldier. Yep. Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. four. Right, now get up. I need your help. So yeah, the game, I gotta say, the game actually looks pretty damn good. It looks pretty damn good considering that it's actually running in low settings. And, um, you know, it looks great. It looks great. And so far, you know, frame rate has been steady. But that's that was just after a couple of updates because right before I started making this video, you know, yesterday, um, it did. I did try to run it on medium. I did try to run it on low, and you know, you altering some things. But it would frame rate would be crazy. Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh, holy crap! That guy has lasers. <laughs> Woohoo! Holy! Oh, that looks badass. I need a freaking weapon. Where's my damn weapon? Pretty damn cool. But, dude, I need a freaking weapon already. Come on. Okay, there's something over there. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I See, lack any kind of lock. Right now, we're actually talking you to the have glove. To find your own method for picking locks. <laughs> I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the lock and pin light goes on. Okay. Finally. Oh my god. It works. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was the first puzzle in this game. Like you saw there, it's a little bit tricky because you have to press the A button when you oh, see oh, oh, that um I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Okay. 
nice. I like how we collect stuff here in this game. Ooh, saving data. Is that actually saving the game? <laughs> what the hell is that? I'm telling you guys, this game has so much uh, Bioshock vibe. Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open the suggestions. Bring me to the sensor manipulator. Quick. How titillating. Rebellious oh. dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, alright? <laughs> There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Ah. I'm not actually doing anything. I'm just. <laughs> go for <laughs> System boot. Wow. But choose shock for now. Okay, so here we can go ahead and get skills. You are fortunate enough to acquire about 50 grams of neuropolymer. Isolation. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely Nora for a new skill. You don't oh. mind, do you? Mm-hmm. So we switch screen like oh, that. Oh, how can I resist? Mm -hmm. Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, okay. I mean. I've seen it. Cool, cool, cool. Crispy. Critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your fancy. Weapons are useful. Open the corresponding window, Major. Get rid of that glove, handsome. You don't <laughs> need him anymore now that you've got me. I'll service you however you want. Got a sword? A massive sword. Oh, okay, we upgraded our axe. Socket, so I can do so much more. I'll play <laughs> romp with your axe. It's just as saving data. Of things to come. Saving data. Okay. Not it? bad. Big guy. Yeah. Cool. Use this <laughs> powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. Okay. What real smut feels like. There you go. So this. Why should I bring you gifts? <laughs> we can actually like talk to it. Being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce mm. items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although oh. some upgrades may call for unique components. Okay. I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, comrade. Major. Okay, guys. Well, Great. I gotta say. Game looks pretty damn good. Power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I can follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Mm -hmm. There you go. Nice. Well, guys. This video is getting long already. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the game. Uh, the game looks pretty damn good here. I gotta say, pretty damn good here. It's running pretty damn smooth. Of course, keep in mind, there's going to be a lot more updates coming. You know, this game just came out. So, uh, and just from yesterday, I actually got a couple updates. Yesterday, it wasn't even considered playable. It, was, it didn't have the playable tag. But just today as I woke up, it was playable now. Now it's actually considered playable. So yes, this is going to be upgraded very constantly. And so far I'm liking the vibe for this game. I'm liking it very, very much. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. This was Atomic. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. boom, boom. Yep. Well guys, thanks for watching this video. This was Atomic Heart 
for PC. And remember, you can also get it for Game Pass as well. It's also available on Game Pass. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.